still hurts. It hurts all the time. Welcome to the party roll. We are five guys, one table, playing D and D. I'm Dusty. I'm Corey. I'm Mark. I'm Steven. And I'm Matt. Yeah. yeah. It's party roll. Episode. Excuse me, I'm the only one that can say yeah since it's my yeah. You guys need to get the fuck off of my yeah. yeah. Onward to Mark. On our last episode. That was harsh. We all just got in trouble. We, enco- <laughs> we encountered a friendly Grick, and Grick took care of the Grick. Grick. See previous episodes to figure out what that means. You won't. Nobody knows what's going on now. Uh, we learned how a little more about our dark, very sinister little friend, Seth Rogen. And he taught us, uh, not him, but his his player, Corey, taught us uh, his pimp? a little a little bit of history about how wonderful it was to live in Viking times. <laughs> it was it was amazing. Yeah. So we are now standing in the room. Combat is still technically going because you know there are some more goblins on the way. Okay. So the last person to do any th- oh I guess I should, oh yeah I was gonna I promised I was gonna explain things every episode a little bit. Again, welcome to party roll. Hey. This is where five guys play the. Beginner campaign of Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. The Lost Mine of Fandelver. Everybody's going to start with party roll. I'm going to start first because I'm the DM. My name is Mark. Mark. I rolled a two again. <laughs> wow. Well, Everybody looks like shit. We've I already... just rolled. I just made uh, a new we drink. Have to, we have to keep partying. Uh, uh, I, got an, I got an eight. I rolled Ten. a two. Hey, so I'm as cool as Mark. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Was that a sixty in? <laughs> are I'm Nigerian now. Are you? Are this? Are you South African now? Ghana. Red stripe. It's beer. <laughs> Ghana's best techno Viking. Twenty sixteen. Oh, that was a great film. All right, it is. Red stripe's pretty good. Oh, it's the other Grick's turn, it's but beer. he ain't alive no more. Grick's dead? Yep. That little guy who's a good Grip. friend. Rip. Rip I mean, in peace, Grick. Grick in peace? Grick and Grick. You hear a great deal more pitter-pattering than you heard before. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so cute. Some skipping going on, too. <laughs> Singing la, 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 la. la. Ho, ho, tiddly dee. The door... Uh, behind the curtain that's now open because it was flung open when there was a goblin and he got hit by fire. You guys remember. So it's like a shower curtain? No, it's it's, it's like a... Meat curtain? It's like a velvet shower curtain. Velvet meat curtain? Who showers with velvet curtains? That shit would mildew so bad. Yeah. Man, it would be so choice, though. <laughs> that's the price of swag. Man. Pretty sure Notch. Swag. <laughs> swag to my... Do you follow <laughs> Notch on Twitter? Because he's, like, sort of showing off his mansion and really? shit. It's crazy. I've seen, uh, apparently, a lot of people come to visit him. Like he's Yeah, just, he hung he's out with bringing, Brain Grumps. Yeah, he's just bringing people from the gaming community over. It's like, hey, come visit my mansion. I'm just more rich than a human should be. You know what you want to do? I did it. And that's basically <laughs> it. <sighs> no, we just Velvet sigh. shower curtains. Everybody just <laughs> yeah, We just sigh, like, oh, that's mm. so, so true. Yeah. I can't wait to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I get to see another prolapse bladder. I actually do. I want a better description. He actually thing. works. Yeah. He works at the prolapse bladder store. That's right. All you find is prolapse bladder juices. God damn it. <laughs> Classic jokes here at the party roll. <laughs> you hear a little pitter patter. Door flings open. Okay. okay. Two goblin heads pop up. And the voice you've been hearing this whole time yells. Unleash the fury! Are they fucking with us, bro? I'm, I'm ready. The, he he also yells something about the glory of some unpronounceable shit. Um, Please read it for us. <laughs> from from Maglubiet. 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 <laughs> that sounds like something that he you commands should, you. You you can eat too much of. <laughs> oh god, I had so much Maglubiet the other my night. My Maglubiet levels are way <laughs> off the chart. <laughs> I just spiked. And. Uh, the two the two goblins that poked out of the door both kind of get down on one knee, pull out their little short bows, aim at the biggest target, which is always our dwarven friend. Hey. And who has been helped up? 
the song yeah, he, like he just got up. Actually, one of the You're first welcome. one aims at you. Oh, five it up, girl. The highest of five. Seventeen. Shit, that is my armor class. Oh, and now we're doing it the right way. I hate these new rules. I hate them. <laughs> go back, ju- but just for this turn. When it's my turn, you go back to me. Yeah, when it's my time. turn, roll it roll less. D6. D6, no. Oh. Wait. Is that a plus? That's a plus something. Plus eight damage. Negative. Okay. It actually hits you in the leg that Techno Viking is massaging. Oh, man. I just got that up to 100%. The other one takes aim at Techno Viking. 15. If, oh, uh, damn it, that hits two. Damn. Yay, that's new a, rolls. That's not good. <laughs> My AC is exactly 15. This is so fun. We were trying to prove a point. Okay. Can, we, can we, like, house rule this? Five damage. <laughs> can, can we, again, house rule this until it's our turn and then unhouse roll it? <laughs> Can Mark, can we just can you just let us win? Come on, <laughs> just make it so we always win. Yeah, this this story is really cool, but we want to win. So. The other one, there's a third goblin that pops up from behind those a two. Third goblin. He remains standing in the doorway and fires over their heads directly at Seth Rogen. Bring it, bro. Man, they got a spread on us. Bring it on. Let's uh, eat some of the nice sandwiches on the spread. Oh, no, sir. No. Did that miss you by one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally almost <laughs> ate my lunch. What did you say? I said we should eat some of the fine sandwiches on the spread they have laid out for us. We should. It's a good pun. Boo. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I and... laugh loudly in character <laughs> at the pun that I just said. So, do you laugh with kind of the speech impediment? <laughs> I say ha ha ha, only with chin. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> five, five, what? Five W's after I just... every ha. Ha 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 ha. You're Charlie Brown's parents. You hear, you. you hear from inside the chamber again, a little goblin just screaming about this his god, just how Maglubiet will smite, just smite all of you for slaying his. His beautiful pet. It's my ass machine. It does and that. it is Grick's turn. You got an arrow oh, on your turn? you got an arrow on your leg, buddy. It hurts. I'm pretty pissed off about it. Yeah, you bet you are. Can I close have... the gap? Do you have a ranged attack? Don't you can close the gap. It's close? a bit. Okay. Oh, hmm. okay. I pull out one of my javelins. Oh, oh shit! Javelin time. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. I hold it behind me. I run ten feet. Is it ten feet? Uh, how this, far away are they? They're probably good. I mean, it's not a huge room. They're probably a good 40 feet away from you. I run 20 feet. Okay. And then I let it loose towards the, the one that shot me. Roll so me, I guess the roll first me an one? Attic. Uh, 21. Yes. That would please. hit almost anything in the game. Please, please just ruin this goblin. So I let it fly in a slow motion. Who are you fly, throwing at? Are you throwing at the, the pizza pie. The standing one or one of the crouching ones? The one that hit me. So the first one? First one, yeah. It is a D6. Let me find my D6. Do it. What do D6s look like? Do there it, it is. There. It's a normal die. <laughs> it's yeah. the, it's the one that you use dominoes. The cube thing. And I roll a one again, <laughs> but plus three to slash. So it still four. hurts. Yeah. Quatro. Wait, slashing? From a, shouldn't it be piercing? I mean, it doesn't matter, but... I would think it'd be For some reason, I wrote down slash. Let me uh, take my check. Mm-hmm. I would think it'd be mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Plus three. No, no. Okay, I've looked it up. It's p- piercing damage. Okay, it does no damage then. No, uh, so it was four <laughs> altogether. <laughs> it, was, it was four altogether? Yeah, four altogether. Okay. Was that, was that all together? You keep rolling those solid hits, but then you actually... You managed to nail him right in the same leg he hit you in. Good. It feels good. Well, I mean, it still hurts, but it feels good. Now, I heard on other better podcasts than ours that I can recover all of my uh, sort of like javelins or arrows that I use. <laughs> I never said you couldn't. Okay. That's fine. Well, I've been sort of using them actually, up as I use them. Remember, uh, well, the listeners won't because that happened 
because we started this podcast in the middle of a fucking adventure because we're right. idiots. But I've had one snap. Yeah, that one snapped. The first one didn't. I think something happened to the first one too. I think it snapped. I think I keep fucking with you and snapping your javelins. Okay, well, this is technically my last javelin. Why are you snapping his javelins, bro? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a while without one of those, so I'm glad we got that in. I'm glad I misspoke so my friends could pick apart my insecurities. That sounds like a British food item. Oh, you're going to get some chovelins. (laughs) Got to snap them first. I love strawberry (laughs) chovelins. Hey, Mark. Hey. You're a best friend, man. Thanks, buddy. Best friend DM is DM. It is now. Uh, nope, nope, it's not his turn. He's not alive. <laughs> Poor Crick. Let's just erase that. No, that was actually the little goblin that you, uh, <laughs> you helped out. I did. It's now Wizard's turn. And I think we, I think we have an idea of what might happen here, but just let's see. Sweet angel of mercy. Yeah, right. they're, they're all packed up against yeah, the door. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna do all that I'm good And for. I'm 20 feet away, so I'm not I guess I'm feet. just good for winning every fight instantly. And so I'm, I'm gonna use Shatter. All right. How many goblins are there in the room? Three. There are three in the doorway, all in a wonderful formation. <laughs> That'd be great if it weren't for this guy. Uh, it, it's a ten damage to anyone that doesn't save, and five to anyone that does. Okay. Against uh, sixteen, you said, or thirteen? What's their save? That was fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. So you said ten if they don't save. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> The two ducking on the ground. Every, well, everybody takes a very familiar pose to you now and grabs their heads and just squeals so high pitched that you can't even hear it. Like, if there was a dog in the room, he would be losing his shit. And the two on the ground just. Not even at the same time. Just a tiny little bit staggered. They suction cup to the floor? <laughs> Parts of them do. They peanut butter cup to the floor. <laughs> oh, I love peanut butter javelins. <laughs> <laughs> We're Bring, friends. Bringing it around. Okay, so <laughs> those goblins are, are, as we said last episode, when we were making all our fresh jokes, they are ex-goblins. The one standing up, again, his head shakes a little bit, and he staggers back, and he actually does, yeah, he actually shakes his head in a very <laughs> no, no manner, and... <laughs> It is now Techno Vikings' turn. Okay, so two his head exploded. There are two One is goblins without head. heads. They are probably not alive. I you don't know much <laughs> about goblin physiology, okay. but there is one in the doorway, kind of just uh, like he looks shaky. You ever seen that picture? Uh, yes, I know you have from uh, from Italian Spider Man, where the little <laughs> no. guy pokes his head. No, no, that's what that goblin's doing right now. <laughs> yes. No. Okay, so since he's already a, a little kind of shaken, I'm going to try and punch him in the temple. See if right. I can so you rush to the him. doorway and crack and, that and you try to you try to get in his temple. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to karate chop. You're going to enter with, his with temple my, with my pinky hitting the pressure point of his temple. <laughs> just my pinky. You're going to frog him in the temple. Gonna... Just just the pink. <laughs> just the pink. All up in his temple stink. <laughs> God damn it! A ten. That's the same thing I rolled last time. Right, you want to use your other hand? Wait, is there a bonus to that? That was with the bonus. Uh, <laughs> that was all together. Okay, yeah. roll another one. Roll another one. Whatever. Roll another. Roll another. We put one pinky away. And I take another ten pinky again. Out. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna use some goddamn key right now and get the an additional some, term. Some additional key. attack. Okay, go. Okay. Well, actually, I do have a question about key. One of I, you smart I don't know guys. Anything. Okay, it has. Well, I would read my book, but some cool friend of mine left it. <laughs> I wonder who that was. Because <laughs> it sure wasn't me. Because I'm not cool. Well, no. <laughs> it was me. So, I'm what is your cool. question? Okay. Uh, the the blurry of flows grants an additional. <laughs> The blurry of fl- what? Oh, I was rolling with it. I was going with it. <laughs> sorry. Okay. 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 It's real time. The DD blowing talk. of furs. <laughs> I'm gonna be fr- okay. Flurry of blows grants an additional attack, but I'm not sure if that means like a whole two new attacks since I get two. No, we punches, decided you get one extra punch. One? Did one we more. decide or did D and D decide? No, we D- decided. D and D decided. D and D decided, but we. I actually was looking we're, at the. Moment. We're more important than D. I didn't yeah. decide to shit. So. <laughs> Yeah. I know you got my back man. Yeah. You get one extra attack. Okay. So roll again. It's your tech. Okay, I'm going to call up on my key. 
<laughs> Stop that. <laughs> okay. 13, does that do anything? All together? Yes. They're Please. S- they're small. Okay. You take... <laughs> You come up to this goblin who's just just shaking. Just you wipe both defenseless. pinkies on him. You take, you take both pinkies out, put what, one in either ear. What, William? And then just kind of blow in his face. <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't do shit. God damn it. Oh, that's except, probably disorienting. Except really confused. Uh, already you really confused him. Confused he, he's already goblin. pretty much having a concussion. In your so. country, that's another way you say hi. You just put your pinkies in someone's <laughs> ear and you blow in their face. Wonderful. Uh, it's Seth Rogen's turn again. Perfect. Uh, you can't really get a good beat on this goblin because there's a Techno Viking standing in front of it. Just so you know. Hmm. A TKV. Yep. <laughs> TBK. I mean, you could probably like get up there in melee, like kind of reach far, underneath him and kind of shank it from how behind. Far, how far away is it? You're a good 30 feet away or so, I'd say. I can only 30 move 25 feet. feet. Can only move 25 feet? Dude, oh, your little lane. stumpy legs. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Aw. Pitter pattering around. You're barefoot, aren't you? You know I am. I thought you had shoes. We established you had shoes in a previous episode. Shoes are made of I bear think pelts. you guys made up my hey, shoes. No, you, should, you, should or just... you were kicking trees and then you were rubbing blood into them. No, we made you all guys these jokes. Call me... Yeah, you call me like shrubs. You're Lightfoot. Corey, you yeah. should just free action five feet six times over to them and then just hit them. <laughs> you don't do that once. <laughs> you said it's free. I, I will take all your privileges away. <laughs> oh. um, I'm going to do a perception check on the room real quick. Okay. I whisper under my breath. Oh, we did so that's a seven. <laughs> I right. did that. You take another good look at the angels and the little precipice around the edge of the room. You don't you don't see anything else Nothing's other than the statues. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, the light continues to flicker. And that's about it. I saw that already. It's boring. <laughs> it's boring as crap. Uh, I guess I'll just reposition myself around. Uh, yeah, because that that would have been your attack action, your perception check. Since yeah. you took a while, I can so, still yeah, make can, a move. You, yeah, so you still gonna move? Yeah. Uh, what do I see in the room? Is there anything I? I mean, there's a door on the other side where you slaughtered that goblin. You should wrap you yourself up in the curtains. Yeah. Well, there's oh, there is another curtain uh, on the opposite side of that door. A curtain appears. How far away is it? Mm, it's probably a good, I'd say, fifty feet from you. Fifty feet. Uh, you can make. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, Where's everyone located I'm at? I'm in a weird place right now. Just ignore me. Hey. <laughs> Mute my mic. Okay, Mike TV is standing over in front of the goblin, uh, dicking around with its ears. Willy fucking Wonka right there. The Did you just say Mike TV? Wizard is behind you, that uh, or kind of to your left. Who's that? Uh, That's a, a girl, or what is Grick that? Grick is actually Female behind you. He just, well, actually, Grick is in front of you a little bit because he ran up and threw a javelin. Yep. I'm calling them now. Joblins. Right now. That's what they are. They're joblins. I'm establishing it. So yummy. <laughs> Delicious joblins. Uh, I don't know. There's nothing for me to like. <laughs> you you feel lost do. when you can't kill anything, don't I, you? I really do. Like, yeah. there's something in my way. There's no treasure chest to grab away from know, a what dragon. Is, what does there's, a rogue do? I'm just going to tip over this brazier and just burn the room <laughs> down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I can't do shit. Yeah. So you just try to pop off the brazier. Uh, always one-handed. Boom. Nice. Ooh, that's good technique. Old school. Uh, I know because the ladies are all like, "Oh, look at that one hand. What's that? Oh, I use my teeth, but you know, whatever. You're cold too. There okay, is roll to disappoint. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, girls are always impressed when you can do it with one hand. Oh yeah, but it's because they always have it behind their back, dude. That's my trademark. It's like if you just go at it from like your front, it's real easy. So I don't know what their deal is. Dude, I I'm just like I don't know what to do. I'm scared. <laughs> I, just, I cry. I just grab it from the front and pull until she's like, fucking stop that and then she does it I keep a pair of scissors on my bedside table. <laughs> <laughs> he bought he buys his wife five bras a year. I've been experiencing <laughs> <laughs> We just use duct tape to keep on fixing them over and over. I've been experimenting with my bat knife um, on my third girlfriend in the past week. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it sticks. He's got good day. results so far. She likes it. Uh, try something new, baby. <laughs> Using the bat voice. <laughs> Congrats on being able to get new girlfriends so quickly. It's a double-edged sword. Craigslist. Literally, it, it is a double-edged sword that you hold. Okay. I say I have a bat knife, uh, and they just, like, I guess they misinterpreted it. I don't know. I'm going to just reposition myself, uh, I guess. 
Can you do it a little faster? It's Corey's turn. Still. Yeah. <laughs> Closer. It's, I, for most of the episode, I think no, it's been Corey's turn. I sit down. I just stay where I'm at. I just, I just, sits down. I, just, I just sit here, arms <laughs> folded with my, my, my short bow in my All hand, right. just waiting for something. Are yeah. Oh, it's done. I give you a Corey? thumbs up. Go Corey, on. you're my friend. I look over my shoulder at and least, I give you a thumbs at up. At least as much as this fucking asshole next to me is my friend. <laughs> All right. Nope. <laughs> Goblin number three. He's talking about Dusty. Hi. <laughs> yes, because that's the guy that we're angry at ever. Okay. Uh, Goblin number three. He kind of he comes to you a little bit, and in a very familiar move, stumbles backwards through the doorway and tries to run away. But the so voice, can... the little voice you've been hearing this whole time. Starts chewing him out, and finally you just hear kind of a smack. And a the this the the place this sound is coming from. I've been drinking. Finally steps through the door. I'm I'm losing words steadily. The origin, there we go, of this voice. Steps through the door. What is everybody listening for? People are fighting, it sounds like. Got some Ooh, crazy neighbors. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Some stuff's happening. Do they need to roll initiative? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do we need to roll police? Nah, we'll just leave him be. All right. It's fun recording in an apartment. <laughs> so, you see, step through the doorway slowly, an imposing figure, like a shadow kind of looms, and then as it comes into the brazier light, it shrinks back down to the proper size. Ah, tricked me. And a goblin in a tattered and bloody, just kind of burlap <laughs> robe, Steps through with his arms puffed out to his sides. Looks at the entire room and proclaims. <laughs> on my sheet the, of paper. <laughs> <laughs> one sec. With the power of McGloobit, I will smite you fools. McGloobit? <laughs> McGloobit! He... <laughs> McGloobit! He, well, you really can't even see him because Mike TV's still standing in the doorway. Hey. Uh, he pulls out a... <laughs> Why do you keep calling him that? I do. Hey. I do not get the reference. He pulls out a knife. Is it from like the seventies? And Viking? thrusts don't, don't directly at the at the stomach of the man in front of him. This is half the fun of hanging out with Corey. It's just keeping him in the dark. Just him not knowing things. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, nope. The, the All right, way. you nope. dance out of the way. But the great thing is, you don't actually move your fingers from where they were, so you still have your fingers in the wet willy position. <laughs> you just kind of, you just kind of bounce backwards a little bit away from the mic where nobody can hear you. Still like that. blowing on the guy's face. Still blowing, <laughs> even though he left. You're still blowing. You're just, yeah, you're just kind of talking like this when you go back and yeah. forth. Okay. And, then somebody and erased my and it's now Greg's turn. Oh, it's my turn. Mm-hmm. Well, I hate religion. Yeah, go ahead and get more in my way. <laughs> Here Learning at the Atheist something. Podcast. So you, you don your fedora and rush. <laughs> you don your fedora and start may, listening to Rush. I <laughs> that is also <laughs> proper, yeah. I say, have you heard of atheism? And then I tip my way over to him. <laughs> <laughs> tip, 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 tip. I am intellectually superior. But no, since he has the doorway, he's 20 feet away from me, so I can close the gap. Right. There is a, there is a techno viking in your way, but... If you close the gap and get into melee range, you can hit him. You God, just I wouldn't recommend... You're a gentle sir. You I wouldn't recommend throwing anything. <laughs> get out of my way. I will excuse myself around him. Tip. And then, tip, uh, tip, 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 tip. I like that Greg has gone full gentleman mode. <laughs> what the fuck tip, is happening tip. right now? <laughs> We're showing our true forms. <laughs> if you just look up a picture of us, if we ever show up on the internet, it's just going to be a bunch of nasty neckbeards. Fedora crew. Well, well we've been uh, silencing out and post all of our felt... On hair action, yeah, of you, all of our it's crazy. Tipping. Just <laughs> so, anyways, I run over to him. I say, "Fuck this!" And then I take a slug at him. Fuck this! And I don't hit him. I hit an uh, eleven. All right. So that was your whole person. Your whole feeling. All that was just fuck this. You, just, you do nothing. <laughs> and then I kind of swipe at him a little bit. Yeah. And you just you're <laughs> upset. Wizard. Uh, and they're in the way, right? They are yeah. totally in your way, bro. Sorry. That's cool. Just fighting a doorway. That's that's smart. Yeah. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's not much for us to do back here, is there? Mm-hmm. Just want to... Oh. Um, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my, it's my your turn. Are, I'm sorry. My legs are spread wide open. You're welcome to go through. S- Steven, Steven's onto something. You could probably fit. What do you got, Steven? I got what nothing. Is it, boy? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, both 
If only you had a move that always hit 100% of the time. I, Some you, kind of magical projectile. I still, they, well, I do, but I mean, they still have to like be within range. I still have to be able to kind of see him. You can see him. A okay, so, so him and Mike TV aren't blocking him completely? They're blocking him, but they're like... They're blocking enough where you wouldn't want to shoot an arrow in that direction. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. But uh, a magical spell of sorts, that's, that's well, probably Okay, a magic idea. missile hits 100% of the time. Yeah, magic. Which, I mean, I guess I'm just going to do what the DM says because he wants this guy to die or something. I mean, you don't have to do that. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> no, you were no, talking no, about no. not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use magic missile. You know what? You forget magic missile. You don't know it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that, that's eight damage to him. Just put your dentures right. back in. <laughs> I did. Oh, right. By the way, Corey, uh, Mike TV. It, well, no, go don't ahead. Explain uh, it. No, don't no, fucking no. explain it. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Mike Headroom. Is that that's, Max that's Max Headroom. Max Headroom. <laughs> but I'll explain it to you. We're in the seventies. You're Just in from... the eighties. Oh, okay. Mike TV. Who was the Willy Wonka kid? Yeah. Why do you? Then you already get it. No, I Mike don't. TV He's in the is, way. is the the boy. <laughs> So what? Yeah, he's a kid. T- like, TV. His initials Techno, are TV. Techno Viking. TV is Techno Viking, and he he made a joke calling him Mike TV. I'm not. I just, I'm just saying it because, you know, out of habit now. Honestly, like it's a, not even like, a joke anymore. It's like a humor. It's one of those humor jokes. You know, like a nickname, like you give somebody and you call them that. It's not their name, but you call them that. Do you remember like how giggly I usually am? And now you're just upset. It's just, just I'm mad. just mad, <laughs> just angered <laughs> by that joke. But let's keep going. Let's, let's keep this going. I'm sure. I'm sure if you keep saying it more, I'm gonna laugh like really hard. I think Corey yeah, just wants be funny. his own nickname. What if like a hobgoblin had like a big throbbing horse dick? <laughs> it's <pretty> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't now, I make funny jokes? Now we're back. <laughs> now we're Man, back. I'm glad I'm the first one who made that joke. See, not even funny. No, <laughs> not even funny. I get it now. I know who Mike TV is. <laughs> yeah, he's that creepy. Patrick Bateman looking kid on the So does he have a persona past the Willy Wonka show? I don't know. No, I have no I think all those children disappeared. I think they just kind of, they're gone. They actually died in on the set. It was <laughs> actually a foil. One of them turned into a blueberry. Uh, another one was incinerated. One of yeah. them drowned. <laughs> okay, so magic missiles. One of them flies, or but they too, you, see, you just hear a flying around your head. Techno biking. One, uh, two of them fly around either side of your head. The other one goes right under your inseam. <laughs> Ooh, tickles a little bit. You gotta feel the uh, a surge of electricity. Surge? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and all three of them <laughs> pelt the little goblin standing in front of you. He takes eight damage. One eight damage. Ten. Eight. What? What? All of a sudden, ten. Eight. No, it, it, <laughs> we're going it, with it ten. We're going with a ten. Eighteen. <laughs> it was eighteen. Right. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> yeah, that's not even a thing that can be done. You do eight damage. All right. Twenty. Twenty-eight. Twenty thousand damage. <laughs> the castle collapses. All right. He kind of he takes the full brunt of those magical missiles and he stumbles backwards a little bit, but again, holds his knife aloft and it's shrieking things at you. And it is now Tanya Viking's turn. Buy used cars in my <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, do I still have my ear, my fingers stuck in that guy's ears? The guy, you never. He left. He yeah. ran away, and you were just you're just standing there. <laughs> you should have just Perfect. stuck your fingers deeper into his skull. Just keep going. <laughs> well, that's, if he had actually not rolled shitty the third time, there was going to be magic. It was going to be amazing. But then he rolled terrible. So yeah. Okay. What do you do this time? So do I just see the one goblin? He just fired the magic. Yeah, there's the out. there's the little cultist goblin in front of you. Kick, kick him in the balls. That's wrong. Can man. I can I open? I mean, palm? we've done some fucked up shit. But you don't kick a goblin. Can I open Johnson. palm slap him in the balls? Is that an option? You are pretty <laughs> big on touching that area. <laughs> That's more my style. Okay, I'm gonna go and throw him, do that. throw him in the middle of the room so we can like. To shoot stuff. Just throw him in the brazier. Okay, I'm Corey gonna, wants to do something. And okay, you're fucking I'm, with this game I'm, right I'm, now. I'm gonna try and open palm, slap him in the balls, and then lift him over back and throw him. Just a little shovel Corey. throw. Okay, well, roll me an attack first. <laughs> no, let this happen. <laughs> oh, please. Matt twenty. Oh god, it's thirteen. What the fuck? All together. Yes. Should I just say no? No. You reach down. 
and you just cup. gently cup <laughs> a pair of goblin testicles. The great thing is, I told you he's wearing little tattered robes. This. Nothing underneath. No, oh, so you just reach yeah. up and just cup. It's uh, your hand comes back kind of slimy. Oh, I didn't pull it back. I kept it there. <laughs> My turn's not over. Seth Rogen's turn. <laughs> I get a second yeah, he gets a, He's got two hands. Oh, yeah, a second he's hit. He's got two hands. Are you going to use your second hit to squeeze? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Actually, I will. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze. All right, he's going to two-hand it. I'm going to two-hand it. Okay. Yeah, you got to use the other hand. Please net 20. Ah, uh, 14? I think that's 14. Yeah. Ah, fuck yeah! <laughs> so the first one. Wait, there. I lied. Oh, oh. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> what a tease! God. Yeah, ball, a, ball so tease. So you, uh, you just kind of jiggle them. God damn it! <laughs> you can. You, it's like that episode of Venture Bros where Brock grabs the guy <laughs> and he's like, "I'm so sorry." I feel what? A lump. What? What? Oh. <laughs> Except it's just that. Just one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my goddamn key again. How many key? I get as many keys as I can key. No, I get three keys. Okay. A day. A day. Per per day. A day. Per <laughs> yes. day but day. Go. His Go. third hand Go. comes out Go. and Go. also <laughs> squeezes. <laughs> His Six, key hand. Sixteen? Do I squeeze his balls enough to All hurt right. him yet? <laughs> you finally squeeze hard. Oh, good. So roll a damage. A little, a little slap and tickle before. <laughs> so, so at first he likes it, then oh. he likes it a little more, and then he coughs up blood. Kitty has a bite. <laughs> he just bats it around. <laughs> what are you? What did you roll? Damage. Sixteen damage. No, to hit. Roll damage. Yeah, roll. Oh, okay. You, you hit him. I, I'm still not believing I'm actually doing anything. The last like five times I've tried to do anything, nothing happened. Sweet. Except I touched some genitals. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a good day. Six! Yes! Something good happened to me, finally! You squeeze real hard. Uh, so, yeah, you yeah. said that in your in-character voice, so what I saw was you <laughs> cup him twice, and then, like, slap his testicle and say, Something good finally happens to me! <laughs> that's, oh. that's what I witnessed. Oh. I internalize it and don't say anything about it. <laughs> I turn back and wink at Greg. <laughs> All right. Uh, only you see this because you're kind of blocking everybody's view. But his little eyes just go super wide. And he just kind of shudders a little bit. And and as you just crush what's in your hand. You see his skull and soul escape him. <laughs> that clip yet. Just kind of hawks out a bit of blood onto your on your All chest, over my face. And, and then he just kind of he just kind of crumples in your hand. Maybe it's Maybelline. I you're don't still know. you're still holding on, but the rest of his body is completely limp, and you're just kind of holding him up by the scrotes. You guys seen Bad Grandpa? Yes. Yeah. Does that happen in Bad Grandpa? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Glenn yeah, he... Bob Thornton. No, that's bad. Wait, no. That's Wait, bad, bad, that's bad, bad Grandpa? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we just make up a movie? <laughs> he, just he gets some, like, uh, plastic <laughs> scrote, like, stuck in a vending machine, and he's trying to, like, push away from it, but you can see, like, his stretchy scrote just, like, stretching from it. He's like, help! <laughs> help! To people around him. That's, it's great. So, oh, it's God. like that. I imagine that right now. Only, only green goblin right. scrote. I... He's on the it back of his heels. Now. <laughs> Leaned back. Finally. <laughs> Once again, Reading Seth Rainbow. Rogen's turn. Okay, is, is there, and I'm going to call it into combat. <laughs> <sighs> so it's over. Yeah, you're sitting it. on the ground. You guys are just kind of. You just see Techno Viking over there, Fox. just just juicing. <laughs> just juice, bro. You can set him down now. <laughs> <laughs> so are your hands covered in croil now? Can I can I still try and pull back and throw it at Corey since this one? <laughs> yeah, go, uh, give me a uh, first. Give me a uh, strength. You got a Dark Souls ragdoll it. Damn it! No, that's right. Oh, seventeen. All right, now give me a Dex to see where you throw. Oh yeah, uh, sixteen. All right, you nice. toss him up in the air and just does a little flip and kind of. Lands right at Seth Rogen's feet. You're welcome. <laughs> Check under that robe for some jams. <laughs> you won't find him. See if he's got any javelins. <laughs> uh, oh, can, I go, can I recover my javelin now? Get it. Okay, I recover. All it. right. I guess let's, uh, let's inspect the room some more behind the curtain. All right. I want to see what's behind these curtains. All right. There is a... Well, the one that is open, there's an open door there. And you actually see... Kind of, uh, you can see in there. There is a another room. 
there is an altar of some kind. Uh, you can't see too well because you haven't gone in yet, but there is a shivering in front of the altar. Is a shivering? Shivering. A lady. Shivering. Like kind of huddled down and shivering. Okay. What kind of uh, ring? Is another goblin. Is it a pretty ring? The one that has but was previously head popped, he but not all wi- the way. Yeah, the wet willy guy. Seth? Yeah, wet willy guy. He's just uh, over there just kind of... I, th- I think you know what you need shaking. to do. <laughs> You guys are encouraging some really fucked up behavior. That's generally what I do. <laughs> That's true, actually. I neutrally agree. Well, uh, I mean, hold up. We shouldn't kill this guy. Seth couldn't do it anyways. So. I say, let's talk, <laughs> let's talk to him. You always just just play to my, 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 my loves. Uh, yeah, let's... Well, actually, you know what I really want to do? Is I want to check this uh, priest goblin out. I want to see what if he's holding anything special. Okay. He's hold. I'm going to go towards the goblin and be like, What's up, goblin bro? What are you guys doing in here? You holding, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you check him out. <laughs> nothing. He was wearing nothing but that little tattered robe. That's it. And uh, when you peek up, you get a... L- even you get a little nauseous about what's underneath that robe. Right <laughs> Even <now>. me. <laughs> oh, You've no. seen some gristle. <laughs> Holy shit. This is throbbing gristle. This should not happen to anything alive. <laughs> Bowl of spaghettios down there. <laughs> uh, 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 made just for you, my friend. I guess I'll. Uh, I'll do I even have more move to go? Uh, the, the combat's over. Yeah, combat. Okay, done. so yeah, I'll. I'll casually stroll into the uh, room and uh, do Let, a perception l- check. Let's actually ask this goblin what they're if he well, He's answer. in the middle of the room. He's just he's hovering at the in the altar. Yeah, I know. Let's ask him what what they're doing before we go and, you know, uh, whatever, him. you do whatever you're going to do to I'm him. I'm just going to inspect the room. I didn't say I was going to do anything to him. You're going to do something to him. <laughs> you're going to inspect we should, his life away. We should ask him some questions before you do anything. <laughs> How do you know I'm going to do anything? Is it my insane grin on my face right now? Like, what are you thinking? I, I think it's because to. you are a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I do what's needed to be done. Maybe not of humans or halflings, but of other things. Okay, I respect I've, that. We've seen him kill a few humans. <laughs> and he agrees. <laughs> he had fun too. Um, all right, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna we, walk in and uh, casually stroll in, all, all right. big and bad, and uh, inspect this room. Okay. Well, I'm. Hey, Goblin Bro, what are you guys doing in this castle? What's a 19 for? Uh, all right, let me get his perception check perception? first. You in the room? You see behind this little goblin, there is an altar, uh, with a bloodstained cloth covering it. On top of the altar. Behind is that a cloth. what looks to be a some golden implements, Ooh. a chalice of some kind, <gasps> another chalice, a ritual knife, oh, and a sensor, a sensor, a sensor, like a sensor bar. I don't know. A sensey like candle that makes <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm gonna go with that. It's a nice scented candle because I don't know what a sensor is. Let's <laughs> like an ele- electrician that. sense. I don't know. Some kind of okay. thing used okay. for things. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a candle. It's a very nice candle. Roll to thing to thing. And they're carefully arranged on top of the altar in a manner that looks like they were performing some kind of weird little ritual for And you said a bloody god. rag on top of It is what? a bloody cloth, a bloodstained black cloth, uh, all arranged on top of the al- altar. There are uh, two archways kind of to the south covered in curtains. There's, uh, there's one, obviously, there's one that you came in, and then there's one that you didn't come in. Okay. There are also... Look that up. I want to I know what this is. The sides of the are altar you, are kind are of engraved. Gonna... And it's the same sort of angelic figures that you saw in the previous room, kind of up on the spell, precipice. Spell it up. Sensor. C-E-N-S-E-R. S-E-R. Oh, I thought if you're listening like, at home, Google along with us. I thought you were talking about like a motion sensor. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, what, what I thought too. Yeah. It's, it's a container of incense and burned. Uh, ah, incense. Yeah. Oh, so I was pretty close. Yeah, it's you were a candle. Really close. Yeah, but it's a, it's an incense thingy. Look at you. You're Point yeah. Mark. You're welcome. Well, that was technically Dusty's. Point Dusty. You're welcome. Uh, I just uh, let's see here. Is it still my turn? We, you're it's not, all of our turns. D- combat is over. I'm passively just. You guys uh, do what you want. I'm, I'm taking that ritual knife. All right. And looking at that chalice because I, right. I don't even care about the goblin. All right. Ring. As you reach for the <laughs> ritual knife, I reach for it too. Uh, we, your hands touch, brief. and you have a moment. Hands, totally clips hands. up the hands. Oh, I want the chalice for sure. What does that look like? 
Oh, fine. I'll roll for it. As he reaches for the chalice, I reach for the chalice also. <laughs> you hold hands again. <laughs> so, 15. All right, what do you roll? I don't roll anything. You don't roll anything? I'm just reaching for him. Oh. <laughs> so, you just dart right past his hand and grab that chalice. You're smack trying to, like, his hand sh- shadow mine. mirror what he's doing. All right, I grab the chalice and the yeah. ritual knife because I, I want that. Dude, it's... can you share some of that loot? We all fought. There's I mean, actually, go- hey, everybody hey. else fought this battle <laughs> but you. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I say I stole all the gold on top of the, the altar? No. I took the chalice and the knife. That's all. You guys can up. have all the sensi you want. Yeah. There, you said there was gold up there, didn't you? No, I didn't. I said the things are made of gold. No, oh, fuck you guys. That's mine now. <laughs> I have two chalices now. I have a, a moonstone chalice, which is really pretty, by the way. Involved that Clefairy. And, uh... I wow, I've got a lot of good loot, man. Yeah, yeah it's because you take everything. Take I have like a all of it. jewel encrusted eye patch. Yeah, you guys might want to. You, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna talk this out. Give He's me, kind of been taking give everything. Me, give me or somebody else the knife or the chalice. It's only fair. You didn't even fight in the in the battle. I did too. I shot something with an arrow. That was huddled in a ball. Hey, can we all agree that? <laughs> can Fine. I get the bloody cloth? Fine. I drop the knife onto the top of that, you and can, I take the you, chalice. You can he hang, throws you it You can down. take the chalice. No, I, let, I set it back onto the Let Greg top. have the knife Alternatively, and the bloody cloth. I mean, if you guys are planning on selling this stuff when you get back in town, you could just let him carry it for now and then split the gold when you get back. Yeah, that's going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> and you never saw me again. <laughs> He's gone. Okay. I, I I look at it, I'm like, oh, yeah, this knife's really good. Uh, you're kind of looking uh, at Grick. Just, just so you guys can write these numbers down so I don't have to remember them or come back and get to them later, you kind of appraise the items. You're thinking all together... Pawn Stars D&D edition. I can, I can maybe give you two copper form. That's the best I can do, and I'm really reaching there. The old man's going to be mad at me. Let me go there. get my buddy. He's an, a he's an expert gold knife in senses and gold <laughs> knives. So a the, gold okay. chalice, is there anything special about this chalice? Respectively. You think the chalice is worth the... Probably, it's a very nice chalice. It's all engraved and such with some kind of old gods. It's And not the freaky goblin gods, like real gods. Well, I mean, you know. Like Jesus Christ, our personal <laughs> Lord and Savior. <laughs> um, human, like, human gods, because, I mean, we're all a little racist. Like, the... the you know, we like humans more than anyone. Come on. We know we do. I like my halfling gods. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dwarf aficionado. <laughs> anyway, well, like, you know, Just gods that like... Don't look send, at my history, please. Gods that non-goblins worship. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, it's that. you. you're thinking this thing's probably worth about 150 gold. It's, it's pretty nice. The knife... Uh, again, it's kind of engraved with some of the same stuff. It's probably, uh, of course, the even the blade itself is inlaid. You know, it's gold. It's obviously not very good for battle. It's more of a ritual knife. It's worth about 60. The censer thing filled with incense, we learned, probably worth about 120. So somebody write those numbers down so I don't have to remember them. And the bloody cloth? I'm sorry, I was Bloody listening. cloth is worthless to everyone except Grick. Did you okay. say 150 for the chalice? Yes. Yes, I did. I guess I'll grab the sensor. I mean, I could always use... I mean, I burn a lot of incense. <laughs> I mean, you visit the shop a lot. Well, to buy incense. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. yeah. You gotta buy incense paraphernalia. It smells nice, especially after you, activities. It's kind of musty. I need these salts yeah. for my bath. <laughs> wow. All right. You guys done? There's still a little goblin kind of huddled over to the side. Like, he's ignoring you. He is in his own little... Horrific world right now. I kick at him and think, "Hey, goblin bro!" You kick at him and he kind of falls over and just shudders more. He is he's I, not responding. He's what you're saying is he's useless to us. You have broken his brain. We got a ritualist knife. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And a cleanup cloth. <laughs> you guys are about to summon some dark <laughs> shit up in here. Well, just, Corey's already started the killing. I'm so just poking and joking, bro. It. Let's let's. <laughs> okay, so this let's is back on. back at the whiz. That's what they call me, the old poking joke. <laughs> I feel like we're at a moral choice here. And I, we should mo- choose the high ground. Well, I mean, we're all supposed to be good characters, so we should probably just walk away from it. When this. was that? <laughs> it's a goblin. Just, just do it. So it'll be a favor. I really world. don't want him to somehow... Are. Goblins are evil. See? Bring more friends. I do have a special hatred towards goblins. I bring this up almost every time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn my back on this. I'm not going to, you know... I, oh, you I'm, guys are such 
Jesus. I'm neutral, so. I, mean, I, snap, I'm I, just I, I, I literally just go behind him and snap his neck. Just, just okay. not even with the shank. Just dead. You don't even get the style. shank. No, I put him out. Of Roll me strength. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. If you <laughs> if you <laughs> get like <laughs> halfway, he's gonna, rub, he's gonna rub his back. This is not as easy as it looks in the movies. In fact, you, I hope you just. Gets I'm not like, even sure it's possible. What'd you roll? Give me a second. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's a seven. Uh, minus minus one to strength. No big deal. Uh, All right. So I'm just like you walk over to behind him. this goblin and just like grab his neck and kind of twist a little. You just kind of burrow your fingers down into his neck flesh and kind of tug on it, and he just starts shrieking. <laughs> Dude, shut him up, bro! What are you doing? <laughs> I realize I'm a weak. <laughs> weak person. <laughs> Anybody else want to want to help out here? Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll I'll end this. I'll end this for everyone. I'll take my my little blade All out. Right. You you unleash the deck and he's still shrieking. Yeah, I can't have that kinda, anymore. You kind of draw a little red line across the front with and, my crayons. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he stops shrieking. That's good. B- Jesus, this is really <laughs> dark now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, should we all go take a shower? What do you want to do now? <laughs> the water's not hot enough. <laughs> it never comes clean. Uh, so the room's been inspected. There's mm-hmm. we everyone's divvied up the the stuff fairly. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> there's a there's a little bit of disagreement on that, but we can just, we can we can hash that out later. I comment, friends. There's no need to fight over worldly possessions. They mean nothing. <laughs> if only Maria was here. It's uh, only game. Well, I mean, well, you have to. Can fight. I have that? You know, Walkman. Who do you think that is mine is yours? Except the Walkman. Who took the, Who took the knife? Uh, I officially have the knife. Kirk okay. has the knife. It's a nice knife. Yep. Do you have somewhere to put it? That's true. My pack. I'm kind of going okay. back into an old character. I apologize for that. <laughs> if we were going to old characters, I would immediately give you the knife and say, invest this <laughs> wisely. True. <laughs> These are all back jokes. Okay. I'm sorry you don't Are you guys it. done in here? Yeah, we're done. All right. He'll be back one day in a future episode. So there's no Months secret hidden rooms you that we're missing. No, you said there was another, you want to check? There's another yeah, door. I do want to check. Behind a curtain. Oh, yeah. There is another door to your left that's not behind a curtain, too. Check it out. Well, it's actually open. Uh, 13. I look through it. Do I do I see any things? I'm, you rolled, so I'm going to give you first. Uh, again, you don't really see. Uh, you do notice up the uh, towards the top of the room on the kind of left and right side of the altar, there are what look like uh, two spots for firing arrows out into the open. That's, murder that's holes. Okay, that's the murder entrance. holes. Well, I mean, no, no, they're all around the castle. Okay. Excuse me. I look out one of the murder holes. You <laughs> see <Murder>. sprawling <laughs> plains Mermaider. with forest at the edge of it. I don't see a uh, glass staff still waiting out there for us. You're on the wrong side. Uh, Should we go look for him? Shit. <laughs> I thought I did. T- I thought I tied him up, but I might not have. We'll have to... No, he was tied up, but his legs weren't tied up. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> oh, going to be just gone. Like, my revenge is completely worthless <laughs> at this point. <laughs> you should have just, as we were running, getting ready to run down the hill, just, like, grabbed him and get him right in the kidney once. <laughs> just once, like, don't go anywhere. And just, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, yeah, we just lost. We just lost everything. My headphones. R.I.P. Yeah. episode. Plugged in. There's no power to it. Oh. Oh, uh, no, we had power. Eh. Mark, quit tugging on the cord. <laughs> Tord tugging. All right. Hey. We're back. Quick jump cut. Did you hear the entire time? Huh? I, I don't think he ever lost headphones. No, we're on this one. Yeah. Yeah, I never lost it. So you Sorry about just, that, guys. You could have just been singing or something while you were doing that. Anyway, small technical difficulties. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you look to your left. <laughs> Oh, you can't hear me. Time to sing. <laughs> you you look in there. And it's a it's it's some kind of storage room. There's several old casks of you know barrels and things. <laughs> Wonderful. That's... So, do you want to look through any of this or anything like that? Yeah, I'll go look at the first cask of barrels. First cask of barrel. It's full of salted meat, mm. and I there are meat. sacks of. Grain that, upon further inspection, is all rotted. What about the meat? It's been cured. It's been cured. It's okay. it's still good. It's I'll take little... some meat, meat strips. 
<laughs> I'm just going to say, you, you kind of keep looking around. You see laying on top of one of the casks is a kind of a bloody suit of chainmail. It's not like fresh blood. It's just kind of kind of stained. There's also a heavy crossbow and a naked longsword with the with an emblem lying on it that looks kind of familiar to you. To me? To uh, all of you. Yeah, we got some loot. Except for Techno Viking. Oh, this is probably the guy we were looking oh, for. Yeah. yeah. Is it our uh our hired person? Whatever he's called. It it looks like the symbol that was on your, uh, your horses that you, you came in on. That's awkward. I tell Techno Viking, this is the guy we're looking for, I think. Taste the blood, see if it's his. I, it's it's old and dried. Don't yeah. taste it. I stick my tongue out and get it near the longsword, but then I stop whenever a wizard like, shakes his head. You, at me. You, you don't know what his blood tastes like anyway. So. <laughs> Remember we tried to get him to let us taste his blood yeah. and just wouldn't You guys got to do that every time you pick someone up. It's really weird. Yeah. It tastes like iron. We taste your blood, bro. Would have come in handy right now. <laughs> no, just in case we lose you and we need to find you. <laughs> we find some of your blood somewhere. We can taste it and we know what your blood tastes like. No, it's, it's, it, you know, just Greek forget about it. never story. forgets. <laughs> Never. Never forgets. So that that's what you find in there. Okay. Anybody want any of that stuff? Uh, I'll shoulder the long sword just so I can give it back to the guy if we ever find him. Ah, okay. Evidence. <laughs> yes, as evidence. We can have a call the cops and they can come arrest all these goblin corpses. <laughs> 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 I meant to prove that we found his uh, corpse. Yeah. Wait, can we just go back and we don't even have to finish finding this guy? We could just take that back and say he's dead and collect the money. We could it is bloody. I think we should do that. Let's just screw let's, all on. the storyline. Let's just go back, get paid, and let's go drink. <laughs> I, I think back to my internal memory map of the place. Is there any place that I haven't just explored yet? There's a whole, at least a third of the castle you guys Shit. haven't been to. Well, let's. I want to go there. Eh, fuck it. We're going to Wendy's. Yeah, okay, you remember when you, here. <laughs> you guys remember when you came in on the side entrance? Yes. You went left. There is still right to go to. Oh okay, my let's, god! Let's backtrack all the way back there. And Why did they make castles so big? Oh man! Backtracking. That's our backtracking anthem. You okay? So you head back into the <laughs> the dark room. the The brazier is just about burnt out, actually, but there is still the door on the other side of this room. Let's go in. Yeah. All right. Pull it open. Pop the door open, and instantly Seth Rogen realize. Uh, well, you all kind of recognize this, except for Greg, because he hasn't been here yet. But you guys all recognize this as the hallway you were in when you first came in. Hey. But you're on the far side of it. Hey, we're here again. In front of you, uh, I look, there's a, a wall, but a little to the right of that, there is another door. Uh, to the left, there's lots of rubble, but you re- remember that there was kind of a tower area with a big, wide open to the outside area. Wide open spaces. Does anyone else see the rebel family over there? <laughs> Wave to Barney. So what do you want to do? Piss you off, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I just made just the straightest face. Just, mm. Yeah, actually, it looked pretty gay. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> Let's go in the room. What room? <laughs> the one with lots yeah. of loot and no bad. People. I'm gonna be 100. percent I wasn't paying attention because I was trying to think of a good Barney Rubble joke. <laughs> That's why we are we are quality. <laughs> to the left, to the left. To now the slide. Left, left. You. All right. You walk into what is a kind of a ruined tower. Hmm. I perceptify it. Roll. Roll to perceptify. Uh, six. It's you, you kind of just see tower. It's you know it's everything's falling apart. Anybody else? There's eleven. I I'll roll perception. Kind of see the same thing. Shit, I don't know why I've been doing this. I don't know. You probably have the highest wisdom, don't you? Or no? I think would Techno Viking have the highest wisdom being a monk? He does. I have a plus two. So, so I have a. I, 15, got, I yeah, got a nine. I have a fifteen. That's pretty high. Well, nine. roll. Yeah, just do it. Perceive for everybody. Okay, I perceptify thirteen. You guys suck. Yeah, we don't see shit. Hey, <laughs> hey. We're, we're all sitting there thinking of Barney Rubble Joe. Oh, I see the tower. It's Crumble Rumbles. <laughs> oh. is, that a, is that another? We go have some Crumble Rumbles and some Jobbins? <laughs> that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you see. I mean, it's just uh, it's a crumbled tower. Uh, they're actually, there's a piece of canvas kind of in front of the door, kind of flapping loose. The whole you know, all nasty-like. 
you can tell that you know like you can get in and out through this area there like you could tell when you first walked in that's an entrance that's all that's all that's in this little tower what what little tower let's keep going let's, let's all right go so you head back out because there's else. there's only one in, well actually there is there's the way you came in now and then there's a door there's the exit to the outside to your left and then in front of you there is another door Another door. Another so many door. doors. So Down many doors. Door. Go through the door. Hey, are, we, are, we close to, are we close to the front door to see if glass staff's still hanging? You're on the wrong side. God. Yeah. No, no I thought you said we were in that little hallway. That's what I thought, too. That's what you went to your left. Yeah. We went well, I you go, came in I, from the right. I want to go back out to that little hallway and see if I can see glass stuff. All right. You go out and you poke your no, head No, I want to do that because I said it first. Okay. Well, you both, <laughs> you kind of wedge your way into you that guys doorway. You both hold hands, <laughs> go to the side, Well, I thought that was assumed. And you both walk out the doorway and look around and... You don't see him anywhere. Perfect. Oh, Target. okay. Actually, sorry. We're going to be perception, and then I'll tell you you don't see him. You better roll He was high. in the tall grass laying down. 19. No, it's 21. It's also been like what do you get? hours. Neither of you see anything. You can go comb the grass if you want. You get to bring your brush, bro? <laughs> I brought my brush. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, just bringing it back. That's from back from January. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Michigan oh. Januarys are rough. <laughs> like a brush. Mark's fuming. With Anybody? <laughs> I go to the other door. Yeah, we're going Jesus to the other Christ. door. Oh, we're gonna. I'm gonna go and run and catch up with them. Okay. And so I, the door. I will say I'm gonna run up and there's no glass with them. stuff out there right now. Okay. I put my ear to the door first. You, I open it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you stumble forward a little bit. At sorry, as he opens the door, because you had your ear pushed up against it. And you, you're liking your friend less and less. God. I'm just, I just much wanted... like Mark. You're my pots and pans. <laughs> That's all buddy. my friends. I want to get the All exploration right. clear. Door of pops this place. open. You're in a hallway. There's another door in front of you. There are a lot of doors over on this side. I saunter over to the other door and just kick it open. <laughs> really? Yep. Oh, it's the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you quickly <laughs> kick the door open. And standing in the room, uh, apparently hit in the or, uh, interrupted in the middle of a conversation, stands a... Very tall, old-looking bugbear with a it. crown kind of lopsided on his head. I'm so sorry, Oh, guys. good. Not a boss or anything. <laughs> Just a dude with a crown. No, Speaking no, to what a, appears to be a female drow, they both turn and face you, and you hear a wolf snarling to the right. Is she, is she single, bro? Cut. What, uh, what's a drow real quick? I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, a dark skin. You're going to find out next time on Party Roll. Next time on Party Roll.